welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, hi, welcome. I am Annie. If you um, want to subscribe, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button so that we can just kind of be a part of the weekly routine. I make new videos every Thursday slash Friday and I would love for you to just join the fam. So um, with that, I'm just going to kind of jump into this video. Today I am talking about, it started off with like how to style just a plain white tee um, and then it kind of just evolved into like wardrobe essentials and what my wardrobe essentials are. So um, that's kind of what this new video is now as I was making it, it is something completely different. So. Um, these are some major staples that I have in my closet that I think you and everybody should own so that you can build as many outfits as possible with a very comfortable, casual style. To start off with, we're going to start with the very basics. So I think everybody needs a good white tee. I did an entire blog post on this, which I will leave linked down below, but the one that I am wearing today is a Gap I would crew neck. I think that's what this is called. It is a higher up neck and I think that it is a very classic, a very put together piece instead of a V or a lower scoop neck. I mean, whatever is your preference or your prerogative, do you, but I really love this. Um, I think it's originally at Gap $24.99 and I always get them on sale. Um, they hold up really well. They have a really nice soft cotton feel to them and they are long. So if you like the longer ones, that's great for like, this will be a great purchase. They come in white, black, and like a medium gray, I would say. They also come in long sleeve um, and have a few different neck cuts as well. The next one is a skinny cut jean. I, I remember when they first came out, I hated them. I was always about the bootleg and the super flare, uh, but they're just more flattering. Um, I would either go with a skinny or a straight leg. Now, when I say straight leg, I don't mean like some of them are slightly flared. I mean like seriously straight so that they are pretty tight all the way down through the ankle, but it's not as like, you know, around your ankle. And I always say high rise or, or mid rise, low rise kind of looks juvenile um, or juvenile, whatever you want to say. Um, but I mean, if it works for you and your body type, do whatever works for you. Um, I feel like the super low cut would always give me muffin tops and it was unflattering. So if it fits your body type are boyfriend slash girlfriend baggy jeans. Now these ones are from Banana Republic. They are actually called a mid-rise straight, but they are quite baggy and it might be because they're a little bit big. I'm not quite sure. I only styled one outfit with this in particular, but any of these outfits would work. I have a very casual, comfy style, so um, a lot of the outfits that I have, um, unless it's like a baggy top, I can opt for these. They're just, I put got some makeup on them, so. Um, they come right above the ankle. Um, sometimes I will cuff these if I'm wearing um, sneakers sometimes or, um, more of like a flat slide on shoe, but I really like these. Like I said, Banana Republic, I got them on like a super discount, which um, Banana Republic is and Gap is one of my go-to stores. I also have a blog post on my go-to stores of like affordability, if that's the right word, I don't know. But boyfriend, like baggier jeans, I feel like it's good. So those two jeans are a necessity. So now I'm gonna go into some accessories. The first one that I have is right here, and I feel like they are statement earrings, especially with my hair being short, um, and I always wear it down. I like my earrings to show. Now, these ones in particular are J. Crew. I got them on a super discount. I think they were ended up only being like twenty, maybe fifteen dollars, but they're so pretty. I usually don't opt for gold, but a lot of the really cute statement earrings I feel like are gold. So I have these or just like a really nice thick silver hoop I think is great. I've gotten some from Walmart. Um, they do tarnish, but I mean the ones at Walmart were like three bucks. So um, check out Walmart if you're looking for an affordable earring. They're even like way cheaper than Target. Um, so that and also I say studs. 
you know, whether they're pearls or just a classic diamond. Um, I got mine in like a pull pack from Walmart. I wear them until they get kind of green because I don't like taking them out of my ears because then I forget and I'd rather have earrings than, yeah. So I have an entire pack and I think it was like $7. I'll link some um, if I can find them in the description bar down below. Now going into like hair accessories. I was going to include hair clips, but I feel like if you don't wear them right, you can look like a child. <laughs> and even same with headbands, which is my next one. I love headbands in particular. I really like this style where it has like the knot at the top. This one I got from Bohm. It's a boutique. Um, you can get it online as well. Um, but Amazon has really great ones. I haven't purchased any yet from Amazon just because I feel like I have enough headband versatility, but I'll link those down below. Um, I got this one a long time ago at H&M before it really, the knot came, like everybody was posting about it. Not that I'm like, ooh, but I mean, also, yeah. So um, these headbands are great. Like I said, Amazon has a great pack for like six for $20 or something like that, which I'll leave link down below. These, I feel like you just can't go wrong. Um, there's a girl that I follow on, she has a blog and she talks about how to wear these and hair clips so you don't look so juvenile, but this is usually how I end up wearing it. Or if I have my hair crimped and waved, then I will pull it back while still leaving in my part so it looks more put together. See, it's just cute. You can jazz up any outfit with it. Okay, next is hats and this can really transform an outfit, I feel like. It can be like a plain outfit and then you add on a hat and it's great. Um, I have a, you know, those truck driver, newsy, newsboy type of hats. I have those ones as well. I just don't have it here right now, but I really do like those. Um, the ones at Target, I feel like are some of the best for the price and for the style. So go check out Target for their hats. I really like them. Um, and I also have the beret. I feel like this one, if this is your style, it is perfect. I cannot pull off beanies. I don't know what it is. I just do not look good in them. But this is from H&M. I think it was like $10 and they're so easy to wear. You can wear them so many ways. If you wanted to, you could wear them more back on your head and have it more like slouchy. How I wear them is I pull it more up here and wear it like this. Um, I just love it. It's so cute. It's so fun. And it just like adds a Parisian look, um, which I really like. And then there's the classic like fedora or there's another word for it. On my Instagram, I did like a whole hat rant because I feel like everybody only thinks that there's fedoras and I feel like they are not practical if you're going to work or anything like that. If you're going out, yeah, they're fun. But this is one that I loved the color. It's like this muted pink got it from target and it's just i think it's so cute um but yeah this is a hat that i don't feel like i could wear it all day especially in an office whereas the more like cabbie hats and the berets i definitely can this was just kind of too like big and if i move around like i feel like it's gonna fall off but still super cute it even has this pom-pom love it also tip if you have small head a small head if you yeah if you have a small head go to Target I haven't actually like worn this out so but you can adjust a lot of them have adjustable ones because I feel like my head is super small and I don't know if that's I feel like everybody says they have a large head but um, you can adjust these and I love it okay let's run through shoes really quick because I've talked too long about the other things so first thing is sneakers. So I have a pink pair of slide on sneakers from like Steve Madden. They used to have like a Target dupe where it's like pink, quilted looking, love those, but they are dingy and I need to get a new pair. Um, but I also, you can't go wrong with white sneakers. I feel like these look like the Grey Goose that you pay $600 for. And these were $6.99 at Old Navy. Yeah, and they're super comfortable. Um, they are kind of dirty, so I mean, I guess that's fashion now, dirty shoes, I don't know. But um, you can't go wrong with white sneakers. I guess they're more creamy, or the shirt is just really white. But white sneakers, whether they're Vans, um, Air Force Ones, whatever your style is, um, this is a classic, it can go with 
every outfit. I wear these with baggy jeans, straight jeans, skirts, dresses, necessity. Next is ankle booties. This one in particular I love. Um, there's a, a chunky heel, it's faux suede, um, black hits right at the ankle bone. If you are wearing jeans with this, roll it up so you can see some of your ankle so it's not like a weird block. Um, but I love these. I've had these for probably two or three years. Like, did I say they're from Target? Yeah, they're from Target. But you can get so many pairs just like this everywhere. Super affordable. Um, I love them. So black booties, or if you're more of a brown person, you can get brown. Now this one is like, I feel like everybody has or needs these in your wardrobe. But personally, I don't wear them all the time, but I always need to have them. You know what I mean? Because like, if I don't have them, then I put on an outfit. I'm like, man, I wish I had them. They are riding boots. Now in particular, um, I have brown ones. I don't really wear brown that much. I'm more of a black person, but um, you know, you just need a good classic brown boot. Now beware of how you wear these because sometimes you can look like you're in Star Wars. Han Solo, I think is what it you look like. Um, so, but I feel like these are great. They're great for winter, fall with dresses, jeans, more of obviously a skinny jean. Um, and you know, you just can't go wrong. And then lastly, I don't know if this is just a personal choice, but I feel like loafers are just a need, especially if you have that more business casual style or if you work in an office and you have to be more business casual. I love these loafers. Once again, these are from Target. They look like the Gucci ones. Um, they're so nice. You just slide them on. Um, I can't really wear them right now. It's winter and it's right now it's snowing outside, but um, in the fall, in the spring, um, this is my go-to shoe. Now it does have gold on here, so I have to make sure that if I wear like statement earrings, they're gold because I'm not a big fan of mixing metals. Granted, I have a silver ring and I mix, but like I'm not gonna take, you know? So um, there's so many versions of these. You could get even white ones. I really wanna get white ones. I feel like that would be a nice addition, um, but just like a classic color and a nice slide. I also have some other full loafers. Um, a great option would be those loafers that are like the full heel, but then you can like, they're designed to be slide on as well. If you only wanted one loafer shoe, that would be a great option. Okay, the last necessity I feel like is, I'm gonna go with coats and cardigans. So the first coat that I have is a green, um, uh, what is this called? utility jacket, I think. Um, I got this years ago at H&M. It has a hood. I'm a big fan of hoods. If coats like this doesn't have hoods, then I don't like it. It cinches in at the waist. Um, I think I've had this for five years, and I kid you not. Like I'm one of those people who really likes to recycle my wardrobe, but this is a classic piece for years that I've had. Um, and these are more pieces that I feel like aren't trendy they have been in for a very long time so you can keep them in your wardrobe and you don't really have to get rid of them because they're not trendy anymore you know what i mean um i love cardigans i'm a big cardigan person um but finding the right cardigan in my opinion can be really hard i'm very sensitive with fabrics and textures and blends and all that kind of stuff so this one i actually really really like it kind of has like a weird smell because I haven't washed it yet and I've worn it a bunch of times. It like kind of absorbs the smells. I don't know. Um, but this one is actually from Walmart and it is super long. It's soft. It's not itchy and it is so warm. I don't know. Let me look at the... It's acrylic, polyester, and spandex. So sometimes with acrylic, depending on what it's mixed with, like wool or... Um, alpaca sometimes it can be very itchy um, or just acrylic on itself can sometimes be itchy so you have to be careful but I really like this this is super long it's almost too long um, I have an outfit where I have um, the boots and this um, and I almost look feel like it's a little too long and a little too baggy for the boots with it but it's like another option 
um, that I feel like is a good one. And then the last coat that I feel like is a necessity is a dress coat. Now when I say dress coat, I mean like the classic camel structured coat um, that you can wear with literally everything. You can dress it down, you can dress it up, and it's just a piece that is so versatile and so warm. So the one that I have in particular, I have a scarf that I always wear with it. My mom gave it to me. It's a straight up alpaca um, scarf thing and it's super soft. Alpaca to me is not that itchy, but I have also a blog post of like how to choose non-itchy fabrics. So there's that. Um, but this is a J. Crew outlet coat. I need to defuzz this, but it is so nice. It's fitted so well, and I just love it. I wear this literally all the time with a t-shirt, jeans, sneakers, as I, I have all over here. Um, I dress it up. I It's just so versatile. I love it, and I feel like everybody needs a dress coat like this. Um, I also have a blog post of coats that you need for the winter, which I'll leave it down below. So those are all of my like necessities must haves. Um, and I would love if you guys like put down your necessities. Like, is there something that I missed? I feel like I probably did miss stuff, but this is like stuff that I grab, grab every single day. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it, um, entertaining, informational, and sorry it was like kind of long, but it's fashion and I have a lot to say. So I'll talk to you guys later and have a great day. Bye.